Even the slavery can go. It's a disgrace to you. It's a disgrace to you. It's a disgrace to them. Because how can they be telling you to go all the time? All over the world is saying to go. Then, everything you want to do in Lagos, they should not victimize the evil. Don't go. No, evil. You're not the trust in our case. You're not the trust in our case. You're not the trust in our case. All evils are bad. They should come back justice with mercy. Because people did not know how to talk. That was the reason why the Lord destroyed the one That was the reason why the Lord made Uba to commit suicide. Uba committed suicide of bankruptcy. <laughs> ah, evil people don't suffer for Ninja. They said they wanted to go. They will say what? They said they wanted to go. You people said no, you don't want them to. You ended up killing their people. You ended up doing all sorts of things. For me, it, that uh, hunger, that using food to starve people is the most heinous thing anyone can do. And you came back. You Biafra has already arrived. Has already arrived. Has already arrived in the spiritual world. Because Biafra has already arrived in the spiritual world. And has already arrived in the... For me, that's who's I will. Bankruptcy is not sickness. Then, some of the prominent people from Ibo and Anabria are seeking to commit. They are going to what? They are going to commit suicide. The present governor of Ibo State is going to die of heart attack. I tell them there is something wrong. There is something wrong. Ghana says you go. Nigeria says you go. Saudi Arabia says you go. Libya says you go. South Africa says you go. Every part of the world says you go in their country. Why are they dating about the person where they date in order to show Nigeria and the citizen and Nigeria? I want you to pay serious attention to what this man of God have to say concerning our country, Nigeria. It is very serious. Please do me a favor, share this video on social media platform, share with your friends and loved ones. God bless you as you do so. Watch this video. I have good news for you. This revival you see will not be aborted. And then they need to work hard and make sure the money God is on the Baba they do very well in the state because he's bringing trouble to that state. Oh no, Baba, you want money to a guy that you don't even know that's what I mean. No, 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 if the state will be delivered. And now the electoral reform. And they should make election for all everybody. Anybody in Nigeria need to be able to contest. They should bring down the money, the money they are paying to take um, to remove the card, the reforms and everything need to be adjusted between now. And then add listen to the voice of the youth. All what the place on the table of Tinubu need to be addressed need to be addressed between now and October immediately. The youth has the right to protest. They have the right to protest. They have the right to protest. Then you are listening, Father. Listen to the youth. Listen to the people. Because Allah was his head. Allah was his head. Allah was his Allah was his head. 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 Allah was Allah was his head. 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 Allah was his I want to my gentleman in my party. No, he born there. I should go out there to say, I that I love him. He has a party of October. I must go down for the real He has a party of October ending. I must go down. And the number of people that are supposed to be the very of the state man that's supposed to be the chairman of NMPC is to be warming up. A great appointment is coming for him. They should not panic or discuss. Then all the people that were already planted in NMPC are about to do this work out now, now, and now to remove all of them. They should remove all of them. Without removing them, the military will not work. Without removing all the people that were already planted in NMPC, which are about to work out in NMPC, it will not work. It will not work. It will not work. It will not work.
the immediate removal of them. And all the people they plant where they report, all the reports in Nigeria, all the houses are full and they should please change their credentials and they are qualified. They are not qualified. They need to leave. They need to leave. And don't be giving information to Nigeria. Timubu need to work on it quick now. Timubu need to work on it quick now. Now and now and now and now. They need to dissolve all the cabinet and they should tell the people of House of Assembly of Nigeria this will be the last time. They don't need to install any House of Assembly member again. And then the Lord said we should check Russia people. They should mind their business. Britain should mind their business. America they should mind, they should mind their business. We are capable of taking care of our problem. They should give to people more time. He will make Nigeria an American of, of his own sort. And then we are going to change the name Nigeria to United States of Nigeria. The name is changed to United States of Nigeria. And then the, the very person they are trying to align that is going to be the next governor of the state. If they have to pay dearly for him because he may go. He has to pay, he has to go and pay dearly for Yayi. For Yayi not to die in sleep. Because the man proposed. God is persons. Biafra has already arrived. Has already arrived. Has already arrived in the spiritual world. Because Biafra has already arrived in the spiritual world. And has already arrived in the physical realm. But the spiritual world is still incubated. Because somebody has given birth. Somebody has given birth. Another person has not chopped the child. Another person has grown up the child. And another person has already given birth. And another person has already completed what's called the game and everything done and dusted already. So what we're talking about is they, they look at the country that are together now is the cause of one man. Believe it or not, any extra move to now make oh let's let's this eh, go out did that, that Nigeria will pieces. It will pieces. Everybody will now say, Oh, you begin to hear different different this was called in the realm of the spirit was called this different what's called national anthem of different people. You hear different national anthem. You begin to hear these people from such a place in the north with a different national anthem. And people from the west, a different national anthem, and people from the southeast, right there in the south, south and southeast, different national anthem. And you begin to wonder what's going on here. Because surely the Lord God will do not accept the first of all reveal what you want to do to his servant, the major prophet of God. I know many people when I come here to prophesy, they begin to attack, they begin to get angry, they begin to get offended. But at the end of it all, they begin to see everything prophesied, not even single one. All of them will happen to the final one. When I was giving the prophecies some weeks ago, I said that I see what's called coffee placed. And you thought it was ordinary. The realm of the spirit is just a place where God Almighty ruled forever. The spirit of God is where the heaven ruled forever. And when you enter into the realm of the spirit, you will see what's called the superpower. And when you see what's called the superpower, you enter the realm that's called the realm of the spirit. And that is what's called beyond the human realm. It takes prophetic ability to dive into the realms of the spirit and begin to now bring all that is in the realm of the spirit to the realm of the physical so that ordinary man and the simple people can be able to hear the voice of the spirit because when God is speaking man will know that God is speaking and God does not say any word that does not come to pass and the coming to what's called the political inform right now in the realm of the spirit the people from the southeast especially the place called the Biafra zone has already been politically informed and they can never ever go into what's called a protest because they have gone too far and that's what's called beyond the Rubicon major prophet of God I want to come here to now begin to tell a story I come here to prophesy because when I prophesy doubt it to your own self doubt it I'm not saying don't doubt it, but make sure that you put the Bible down. Put today's date, write the time, write the hour, write the moment that God is using the major prophet of God to now speak the most accurate prophet on the face of the earth. I didn't earn it by my prayer. I didn't earn it by my strength. It was given to me from above before I was born. It's right in my mother's womb. And <laughs> <laughs> ah, even people don't suffer for Niger. 
They say they wanted to go. They will say what? They say they wanted to go. You people say no, you don't want them to. You ended up killing their people. You ended up doing all sorts of things. For me, it, that uh, hunger, that using food to starve people is the most heinous thing anyone can do. And you came back. You took away, literally took away everything. Gave them, is it 20 pounds or whatever per family or whatever. They grew. Half a, half a century, they took it, they grew, they bounced back, they didn't complain, they continued. Yet, you don't want to let them go. If you don't want something, let them go now. We shall be sending small thing, any small thing. Anyway, shall, let me come back. I go on the I want to I'm telling you. If it continue to I'm speaking because I don't yesterday with the pastor. Even they say every time go, it's a disgrace to you. It's a disgrace to you. Go. It's a disgrace to them. Because I can never telling you to go all the time. Every all around, all, around, all over the world is saying to go. Nobody they reject in any country. Now you go they reject, they say Nigeria. Because they cannot say they are Afro. Tell me there's something wrong. There's something wrong. Ghana says to go. Nigeria uh, uh, says to go. Libya says to go. South Africa says to go. Every part of the world says you should go in their country. Why are they taking about the person where they take in order to show that you will send that idea? Is that right? Pastor, I'm going to continue. I'm going to tell you. Okay. So, now, you must say they should go. For their life. Let, let's, why do everybody say you should go? See, it's a problem. Ibo man is a problem. It's why? A problem. It's a problem. Ibo is a problem. You know, in front. Okay. Yes. What was somebody with? All of them that what? Now, Pelewinko. Africa. You know, in front, anybody. You mm. know, promote the nation. Mm. Hmm? Now, them, them. If you see that, you know, shop. Yes. Eh? That they did. Either your brother said, or the British boy got the word the brain of your boy to serve them for seven years. And give yes. them how? Eh? You serve him for seven years before he set you up. Yes. To get that shopping. For your own. See? They, they did set up the boy, the boy fought. And do what? They pursue the boy, come on. You are not encouraging. You are not employing. Eh? In a nation. Only you. All your market in Nigeria, only you. Only them, them. Eh? Go to Alaba, now leave them, them. Go to the show market, them, them. They don't bring other people as you say. This is what we call abomination. I'm sure that you have listened to everything the man of God have said. It is important that as we have listened to this message, as we have listened to this prophecy, as we have listened to this deep revelation, that we don't sit on it, that we don't sleep on it. We take massive action. The action that I want us to take is that we do well to pray for our country, Nigeria. I'm not going to be analyzing whatever he has said or whatever he has talked about in this video. I'm not going to be analyzing it because we already know what is happening in our country, Nigeria. We all know, you know, and I know. So uh, let us know, uh, we don't need anybody to tell us what is happening in the country as of now. And I'm not going to be looking deep into uh, everything you have said or analyzing and talking. No, 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 no. What we need right now is that we do uh, to pray for our country, Nigeria. I want us to pray for our country, Nigeria. You see, this country, eh, I will always say, the country is not stagnated, though. The country is not stagnated at all. The country is moving backward. Had it been the country stagnated, I would say, oh, okay, we can manage it. Let us remain. We are, we are a drop toss. 
but this one the country is busy going backward every day every week every month the country has just been going backward because of what bad leadership and mismanagement you see some of the things that we pray about in this country that is what in other country their government do for them that is what some of the things we pray for eh? they are the things our governments are supposed to be doing for us nigeria as a country is a blessed nation you know that one nigeria is a blessed nation but you see what is causing our major problem in this country you see religion you see tribalism you see politics these things they are killing at this country nigeria if Igbo man come Igbo man will say Yoruba, Yoruba will come, Igbo, yeah, Igbo will come, Aosa will come, this and that. We keep disturbing ourselves, we keep like causing problem amongst ourselves. Why can't we love one another? Forget about tribe, forget about this, forget about that. Why can't we do that? Why can't we do that? We are hearing an Easterner will liberate Nigeria. This will happen. Biafra will do this. Biafra will do that. Odudua Republic will do this. Odudua Republic will not do that. Arewa will do this. Arewa will not do that. Why? So please, I am begging us. Let us do well to pray for our country, Nigeria. Let us pray for our country, Nigeria. Because a lot is going on. Oh. A lot that you don't even know of uh, is going on. We, we have heard the other day. Dangote have come out to say that uh, uh, he gave uh, uh, what do they uh, call it? Lagos State Government hundred million dollars for the for his land for the final. Nobody talked about that. If you have not watched the video, just listen to what Dangote said. Well, you know, whatever we do, uh, we add value. We are not a, uh, an assembly plant. You know, I mean, when I say assembly, we are not packaging plant. If you look at all our operations as Dangote we actually add value. We take local raw materials and turn them into products and we sell. So which means it's a circular economy which you are practicing. Uh, everything, you know, is here. Everything is in Nigeria. The farmers, the banks, or maybe the people in the mines, the banks, everything is about local. Uh, and it is the main reason why we were number two in flour milling, but we sold it because the wheat is being imported from abroad. So the more wheat we use, the more jobs we create out there. And that's why we cancel that. We remain only in sugar. Salt is not really a very big business. So that's what we have done. And now, what are we doing? What we are doing, like what our group vice president, Mr. Alike, mentioned, is that we said that, yes, you know, we are always the first mover. You know, we always move first, then other people will follow. And we have never, ever, whether consciously or unconsciously, stop anybody from doing the same business that we are doing. Uh, you know, to the contrary, when you look at it, when we first came into cement production, uh, it was actually only Lafarge that was operating here in Nigeria, which is uh, Iwekoro, and then the one in Ashaka, in Bombay. Nobody ever called, uh, called uh, Lafarge, uh, you know, monopoly. But we then would say the first plant we set up was what five million tons that was the first one against less than two million of local production but we, when we got in there you know people now start say ah monopoly monopoly you know so and this is really very disheartening when people keep talking about all this monopoly 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 you know is this only when you stop people you block them through legal means or whatever no it's a you know level playing field where whatever them were was given Okay, in cement, for example, okay, um, you know, other people too were given. In fact, some of them, maybe they even got more than us. Okay, we are always very, very careful. You heard what I said. In the refinery, we did not, and I repeat, we did not collect one single incentive from the federal government of Nigeria or from even the Lagos state of Nigeria. Yes, Lagos state, maybe they gave us a good deal, but we paid $100 million for the land. It wasn't a free land. We paid for it. Okay. Uh, so people are always looking at the, you know, other side. They are not really looking at the real picture. Okay. That's one. Number two, this country has been having petrol queues so the majority of the population there with us. And so we are not discouraged. 
for continue what we are doing. But you know, new doing new business like you know which we announced the sale. Actually, our own board has decided that no, we shouldn't do the sale because if we do it, we'll be called all sorts of names, monopoly, and then also imports will be encouraged. So we don't want to go into that. Let other Nigerians also go and do it because we are not the only Nigerians here. I'm sure that you're listening to that. These are some of the things we should we should unite and be tackling. But who is going to ask them the question when they have used tribe and politics and religion to divide us? Who is going to hold them accountable? Nobody. They are going to hold themselves accountable. Nigeria is dying and going. Is Nigeria is dying and going gradually. Dangote came out again that uh, uh, some people own a plant, a refinery, a mortar. Nobody is saying anything about it. That case gradually, gradually is fading away and it is dying away. If you have not also, if you have not watched the video, also listen to what Dangote said. Another complaint that I had, which I think uh, the right honourable deputy speaker also uh, raised with me, uh, you know, said, okay, why did we drop the price of uh, diesel when we started? We drop it from is it the bad quality we are producing or what? I said that no. Even at the 650 ppm and 700 p uh, ppm that we are producing was a better quality than what was, you know, imported. And I'm sure, Your Excellency, sir, most of you, you have problems with your vehicles. Either you have had or you are still having problems with your vehicles. It's because of the bad fuel that we are importing into the country. I still stand by what I said. Go to filling stations, you can pick up and you can check the quality. That's the only way. But all this one, somebody will bring in a sheaf and say that, yes, this is the quality. Bring in fake certificate. This one, when we go ahead, we will say more. We will say more in the sense that, uh, you know, uh, we know where they blend this in. Some of the terminal, some of the NMPC people and uh, some, you know, traders have opened uh, a blending plant somewhere of uh, Malta. We all know these areas. We know what they are doing. It's not that we don't know. You know, and really, um, like what I said, you know, I've been fighting all my life. Somebody now said, okay, ah, <coughs> ah, Mr. Longote, I heard uh, that, you know, some people uh, came to your hotel to ask of your name, and you don't know who they are. They say, yes, they did. But look, I am a very, very fearless person. I believe so much in God, and I don't fear anybody. Uh, you know, they can do whatever that they want, you know, and... I am not scared. I will fight head on. It's not a uh, question of uh, this. You know, so uh, they can do whatever that they like. To the oil and gas industry, where the group chief executive officer of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, Mr. Mele Kiari, says he does not own a blending plant in Malta. Mr. Kiari spoke earlier today in response to claims by Mr. Aliko Dangote, Africa's richest man, that officials of the NNPC operate an oil facility in Malta, an island country located in the central Mediterranean Sea. Apart from the NNPC personnel, uh, Mr. Dangote, who addressed the House of Representatives on July 22nd, also alleged that all traders and terminals have been opening, uh, have opened a blending plant in the island nation. Speaking in the post on the social media X, uh, Mr. Kiari said he's not aware of any NNPC employee that operates such plants in the country. He added that he was inundated by inquiries from friends and associates on a public declaration by the president of Dangote Group that some NNPC workers have established a blending plant in Malta, thereby impeding procurement from local uh, production of petroleum products. An oil blending plant has no refining capability but can be used to blend, refine oil. Uh, with additives to create finished lubricant products. I'm sure that you listen to you paid attention. It is not only Dangote that said it all. It is not only Dangote that came out to speak about that. Another young boy came out to speak about this same issue. That Dangote, uh, that Tinibu has a refinery and some NMPC people have a refinery, a mortar. We are the refine our, our oil and, and supply us fuel. That is why petrol is very expensive. Listen to what this young man have to say. Just pay attention to what is happening in this our country, Nigeria. Listen. Guys, you will be shocked what I found out about the president of Nigeria. He is a shareholder and a board member himself and two other family members of a, of a refinery in Malta. 
The problem they give into Dangote is because they want that all of Nigerian crude, most of it anyway, a few percentage of it to be refined in Malta, in a private refinery where the president of Nigeria and a few members of his family are board members and shareholders. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. So they're refusing to give Dangote crude oil so they can send it to Malta where the president has shares in the refineries. I'm sure that you listen to what the young man have said though. I'm sure you paid serious attention. I'm letting you watch all these things here for you to understand that some of the things we are even fighting about, some of the things we are talking about, try did this, try did that, Biafra did this, Biafra did are not the things we should be talking about at this time. We should be fighting for to make this country a better place. People are suffering the country and they are using some certain things, political strategies to distract us. To make us not to talk about things we should be talking about. Sometimes you, I, I look at all these things. Eh, it's like, let me cry. We have been hearing people like uh, Pastor Ebukai Obi talking about Nigeria, talking about Biafra, talking about this, talking about that. We have been hearing different men of God, Pastor Kingsley. We, we have been hearing him talk. We have been hearing uh, Pastor McMira giving prophecies. We have been hearing them talk different men of God. I can't finish mentioning their name. But the question I need you to I need to ask is that with everything they have been saying and with everything they are saying now, do you pray about them? Do you? Tell me, do you pray about them? Or is it just to sit at a place? Hey, this person have done this. That person have done this. This person have done this. That is all most of us just know how to do. Talking, talking, cha -cha 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 -cha. that is what most of us will know how to do. The energy we use in talking, the energy we use in battling our brothers, our sisters, our friends because of this country, Nigeria, we can actually put in that energy and be praying for this country, Nigeria. And I tell you that if we pray, God is going to answer. People like Joshua Igila, they have been talking. They have been saying, give Igbo man a chance, give an Eastern a chance. If these people have been marginalized, these people have not been marginalized. Do this, do that, do this, do that. Nothing has changed because we are just sitting down. We are just relaxed. Let us pray. As we have been hearing all these things, let us pray for our country, Nigeria. The country keeps getting worse day by day, year by year, month by month. Early this year, Papa E. Adebe revealed to us that some top secrets are going to be exposed. And you have been hearing it. You have, been, you have heard everything Dangote have been, have been saying. You have heard some of the things that have been exposed already. You have been hearing it yourself. He said it. That this country, the top secrets are going to be exposed. Things are going to be happening. If you have not watched that video by... by um, Pastor E. Adeboye, just listen to what he said. Pay serious attention to what he has to say. You can write this in capital letters. The wind is blowing. And so you should include in your prayer that the wind will blow you, you good. Mm. Because the wind is blowing. It's already blowing. You, you can't stop the wind. As far as Nigeria is concerned, my beloved children, things will get worse before it gets better. Mark my word. That's what Daddy says. We're already complaining that things are hot. Huh? The good news is the wind is already blowing. As it's going to get a bit hotter before it begins to cool down. That's what daddy told me. Oh, that's not what I want to tell you. That's not what I would love to hear. And that's what he said. It will get worse before it gets better. Talking about Nigeria. Because the wind is blowing, 
some serious secrets will come to the open <laughs> you know the elders have a proverb if the wind blows you will see the anus of the chicken I'm sure you have listened to everything Pastor E. Adebo have said. I'm sure you paid attention to what he said. He's not the only one though, that have said something like that. Though. Another pastor mentioned also that some secrets will be exposed. Thank God that we are seeing it. Some secrets have been exposed. But what are we doing about those secrets that have been exposed? The pastor did not just say that uh, so he said that even that the military is going to take over. That the military is going to take over. Just listen. Just listen. listen to what this uh, uh, pastor has to say. The cry of Nigerians has come to the table of God. Something is about to happen. There are secrets that will be revealed in Nigeria. And those secrets are high profile secrets. According to the Holy Spirit of Truth, those secrets is a secret that will expose the sitting government. So says the Holy Spirit. And God says, now there is something that is going on. The military has sit down. They have got a meeting two times. If they don't see changes, Nigeria will go back to military room. Right to let's sit down. They are having meetings, the military. The military has got a meeting two times. They want things to change. And if it does not change, they will come in by force. So says the Holy Spirit. God is working. I said, God is working. I'm sure that you have listened though. These videos I'm playing for us, eh, it's not so uh, uh, we'll say, oh, this, that, that, we'll start talking. I know the way some of us will usually talk now. I am bringing it to us so that we know that pastors have been speaking. Prophet has been prophesying. People have been revealing things to us, but we are really not doing anything about it, about them. We are really not doing anything about them. This pastor that said that military is going to take over, military is going to step in, military are planning to take over. He's not the only one who major prophet Elijah also mentioned that some military men are, are meeting, plotting and planning to take over power. Let me not waste your time. Just listen also to what he said concerning that. I am seeing what's called five men standing right away in the Krinkum meeting. Mandeko Parada, Rekotosika Pratakata. Two from the mid belt, one from the core north, not Flanny, core north, and one from Yoruba land, and the other one from within the Midwest. When you say Midwest, you are talking about Bini, uh, 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 you are talking about uh, uh, a dusted part, and also what's called uh, the Delta part. And I see this five men stood in a special meeting, and they said, How do we rescue Nigeria from the hands of the people who call themselves politicians? Please, I am begging all that we do well to pray for our country, Nigeria. Let us pray for Nigeria. I know that any time some of you hears it, me, hear me saying pray for Nigeria, you want to crucify me. But if you want to crucify me because of this, please do. Crucify me because I cannot tell you to go and fight. I cannot tell you to go and destroy government properties that they will still use you and ice money to repair. But I can tell you to pray. I can tell you to intercede for this country. Eh? Beloved of God, pray for this country, Nigeria. And we have tried everything. We have tried protests, we have tried this, we have tried that. Let us try God. I'm making the arrangement so I will be coming live here so that we can pray together for our country, Nigeria. Because we need prayer. We need prayer. We have tried everything. Let us try God for once. Let us try Him and see the outcome. Let us try Him. So please, I am begging us, as you go to bed, as you pray for yourself, pray for Nigeria. When you wake up in the morning, as you pray for yourself, pray for Nigeria. Because one word or the other keeps saying it. Not even one word or the other. Whatever affects Nigeria will also affect you. If dollar goes up, it will affect you. 
If Naira comes, dollar comes, then it will affect you. Whatever affects Nigeria affects you because you are in Nigeria. You are a Nigerian. So it's, it is important for us to pray for our country, Nigeria. And as we do so, I know that God is going to meet us at the point of our needs in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please do have to subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification bell. So whenever I post another video, you will be notified. If you turn on subscriber, I want to say thank you to you. Thank you for always stopping by to watch our video. We love and appreciate the support you give us on this channel. May God bless you. May God reward you in the name of Jesus. When you call for one, may millions answer in the name of Jesus. Please do me a favor. Share the video and also share that platform. Share with your friends and love them. God bless you as you do so. I will see you in the next one. You are blessed. I have good news for you. Your will is being written. I am what I am by the grace of God. As long as that grace does not fail, Satan will never fail. This revival you see will not be aborted.